all right <clears throat> hello everyone thank you so much for joining us um so today we have yash agarwal with us and he is currently in his third year in st xavier's college pursuing his economic honors and he cleared his cm2 in april 2022 attempt from ifa and scored really great marks of 90 and this was his first attempt so um today he will be discussing that as to how to prepare for cm2 what all tips and tricks and strategies he followed we have some questions ready for him and uh, we'll be asking him some questions um also if you all have any questions you all can put it down in the chat box uh make sure you uh, put your questions in the chat box so that uh we'll take it up towards the end of the session okay so hello yash um hi ma'am i hope you are thanks for having I me here so i hope you are doing well yes ma'am and i hope you are doing well too yes okay so uh, we'll start with a very basic question okay uh i just want like we just all want to know that when did you start your preparation for cm2 and how many months uh, and how many hours every day you uh, spent preparing for cm2 okay um, so i started around uh, mid november last year and uh, so effectively i studied for 5 months uh, there were some gaps in between uh, due to my college exams and stuff but effectively पाँच महीना पड़ा होगा एंड आरली मतलब ऐसे डेली का कोई ऐसे आर मतलब आर्स नहीं है कि इतना घंटा पड़ता था बट ऑन एवरेज ऑब्वियसली थ्री टू फोर आर्स एंड लाइक गिविंग सम टाइम टू पेपर बी सम टाइम टू पेपर ए वैसा ही था okay so every day how much uh, basically is very important for cm2 that every day we take out this much amount of time and we study effectively for cm2 so i think 4 uh, to 5 hours uh, should be given basically its ka concepts are very heavy and uh, the math is also pretty complex so uh, you know being consistent with it and uh, you know revising and practicing the sums is very very important uh, so daily 5 to 6 hours and weekly uh, twice or thrice you can practice paper b for 2 to 3 hours and that would be just fine so basically you are saying that you started preparing 4 5 months prior to the exam every day giving 4 to 5 hours is enough and 2 uh, to 3 days in a week we should practice paper b giving it 2 right. to 3 hours all right, right. so basically you are saying uh, in the ratio 70 to 30 like 70% should be paper a and 30% should be given to paper b for cm2 okay great so what was your basic study strategy like how uh, from where did you start um, what all you did along these 4 to 5 months what was your basic study strategy for cm2 uh, so i taken tuitions from actuators uh, so pehle i started with the video lectures by pravin sir i uh, used to write running notes with that then i uh, went on to read my math and then practice the math questions behind uh, like each chapter that we have then i went on to see the paper b videos by you and then i went on to do the assignments of paper b and after that i went to revision notes so my strategy was completing paper a and b for each chapter simultaneously and i think that helps a lot that uh, creates the consistency of the concepts in your mind and uh, yeah that was it i uh, read math for uh, three times the first time my focus was on the concepts understanding what the curriculum is the uh, the second time i used it to join the dots that how different chapters are connected and what actually the the content is and the third time i used to get a good picture of the whole curriculum which helped me a lot in my conceptual understanding uh for some chapters also uh, math is not so important but the most important part will be revision booklet and those will be chapters uh, 9 to 11 the one with stochastic calculus and all so there i uh, practiced the uh, like the revision notes twice or thrice i uh, used to write the doubts very clearly and i think that helped a lot writing the doubts in detail like you'll get to understand do mera baad bhi agar aap wo doubts padoge na you'll get to 
लोग कि हाँ मेरा ये डाउट था वरना डाउट क्लियरिंग इज ऑलवेज ऐसे हम लोग डिले करते हैं एंड देन वी यूज मतलब हम लोग क्लियर ही नहीं करते एंड राइटिंग डाउन डाउट हेल्प मी क्लियरिंग इट ऑल्सो बहुत बार लिखते लिखते ही डाउट क्लियर हो जाता था सो या दैट वॉज माई बेसिक स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर स्टडी okay so basically what he is saying uh, and how this was different from the other papers that you appeared prior to cm2 like i think you appeared for all your C, uh, cs1 cs2 CM1, yeah. and cd series so how it was different Correct. so cm1 uh, sorry cm2 would be a very theoretical paper the uh, the the uh, the, uh, the rest of them are not so theoretical so i think math reading was my primary focus here is so so important in this paper because uh, like the things we have to type is not so simple in some of the chapters like stochastic calculus and so practicing regularly that as well and focusing on the concepts is so so important like reading the mat again and again reading the running notes from uh, like the video lectures that's very important for this paper which was not so important for the others okay so i i actually got two points from this that a uh, mat reading material reading is very important for cm2 because cm2 is very much conceptual so yeah. you read the material three times i think which is very great because first time when you read you don't get a lot of uh, concepts and then second and third time and along with that solving all the questions so obviously that's one very good point he mentioned and writing the doubts so that you know when you write the doubts you will understand actually where exactly you have the doubt because it is very much concept oriented and also completing paper b along with paper a so a uh, very good points you have mentioned over here now which chapters like in between you said that some chapters uh, revision notes was very important for some chapters material was very important because it's very theoretical we have lot of theory to memorize so yeah. which chapters you found you personally found most uh, challenging or very difficult and how you prepared for these uh, particular chapters uh so i think uh, chapter 9 to 11 the one with stochastic calculus uh, then chapter 16 17 i think they were related to the five step method and the term structure chapters these were very very math heavy and i found it very difficult to understand and visualize the concepts mostly and that was the main problem with this so what i did with these was i practiced the math questions and the revision booklet again and again and i practiced it on words so that i get hang of it for the exam and uh, the second thing was uh, your solving the paper b assignments as well helped because the concepts are very difficult to imagine so paper b helps you do that samajh aata hai ki maths ke piche chal kya raha hai and one more thing i used to write down the very difficult formulas and equations in a piece of paper and stick it on my soft board so i think these three things helped me a lot with these chapters specifically okay so i think most of us actually face problems in these chapters only okay. and what you mentioned is very important that we write the concept down and also paper b because paper b helps us to visualize that's very good now what all along with all these things like um, you talked about the material reading you talked about compiler solving um, now what extra resources did you use like did you go through internet or did you go through youtube video some other extra additional resources which you used to study cm2 so i used uh, mocks that actuators had provided i used x and y um, y assignments that were there i um, used the specimen papers as well and i used to read the uh, the the examiner's uh, comment that is there in the papers that are there on ifoa's site and that helped a lot like uh, what the examiners are wanting that helps me understand that and for some chapters i did use uh, youtube because i wanted to uh, get a more uh, deeper understanding of those chapters for example the chapters which had a uh, capm a uh, mean value portfolio theory a uh, mean variance portfolio theory sorry and uh, uh, the chapters with derivatives so i think for these chapters i used uh, some youtube videos as well which help me understand it in a deeper way that's it nothing else that's it 
Okay, so I think reading examiner's report is definitely very, very important, very good point because the comments generally that they give is very explanatory. They explain all the answers that where students made a mistake and that is very common with all the students. Generally, students make mistakes in same places only. So when you read the examiner's reports report and the comments, it becomes very understandable that, okay, we'll not make mistakes in this particular portion, right? So very good uh, and properly mentioned over here. I think uh, more resources that we can use for CM2 is definitely we can, uh, you know, go through some of the YouTube videos if they, those are available. And for some time, we can actually start watching the news uh, news because I think it might not help you directly. But, uh, you know, these business news channels, you get some concepts, some uh, maybe you get the idea of the words like call option or calls put and because we are not very used to it people especially who are not trading right so for them it becomes important. Right. okay so um how much time did you took out for revision at the end like towards the end or uh, how much time you took to complete the syllabus first tell us this and then how much time did you have in your hand for revision and what all you did in your revision okay uh so the first time I completed the syllabus, it took me around uh, three months or so. And after that, I completed the math reading and the revision notes again uh, in one and a half months or something. And for the final revision, I uh, took out approximately one month, where mainly I focused on um, uh, giving the mocks very uh, well in a very exam uh, sitting kind of condition. I uh, uh, did the X and Y assignments. I used to focus on the chapter summaries behind the mat a lot. Uh, and there are summaries behind the revision notes as well, the revision booklets. There are summaries there as well. I printed them out. I used to read them whenever I got time. And I also read the running notes that Praveen sir gave and you as well. And uh, papers after 2019, from 2019 to 2022, those are very, very important to practice. So for the last one month, I focused on those mainly, not the revision booklet that had questions behind that. But after 2019, I think these areas I focused on mainly in the last month. So basically, you had two, two months approximately, wherein yeah. one month was completely focused on reading the summary notes and then uh, obviously going through the sums again, right? Yeah. Uh, and by assignments, ex assignments, as you mentioned, again, yeah. very important. And past papers, definitely after 2019, because the uh, paper pattern obviously changed and the questions. For example, if we talk about Ruin theory, so Ruin theory questions, which we used to get earlier in CT6 was a little different than what we get in CM2. Like in CM2, it is very much probability and insurance oriented. So that's a very good thing that we have to do is we have to practice the latest terms paper a lot. Very good. Um, now, paper B, uh, as you mentioned, that you just maybe gave, you know, 30% of your time to paper B. Yeah. Um, because I think Excel part is simple, but applying the concept in Excel is not very easy. So how you focused on preparing for paper B? Did you solve IEI past papers also? You talk about paper B because it is not very simple to crack paper B. And how much did you get in paper B individually? So um, for paper B, as I uh, told before, that uh, like doing it simultaneously is very very important with paper A because the uh, the the uh, like the functions in Excel that you have to use that is not very difficult for CM2, but the concepts that you have to apply will be pretty difficult and a large portion of paper B as well will be comments like that was not true for the other papers, but karib 100 may say 40 marks you can expect as comments. And so focusing on paper A, reading the concepts, uh, like retaining the concepts is very important for paper B as well. And doing it simultaneously is very important, the, the, the chapter-wise assignments that we have. But the chapter-wise assignments, they don't give a very clear idea of what we'll be given an exam. So I think for that, we should focus more on the paper after 2019 that we have from IFOA. And if you have time, then IEI as well. Uh, and uh, going through the Y assignments and the mocks that you provided that were very helpful. So I think uh, going through these things for paper B will be very important. And uh, yeah, so I scored 90 in paper B. Uh, yeah, um, like I scored 19 both paper A and paper B. So that was the thing. 
so yeah focusing on those papers after 2019 will be very important to get an idea of what the questions will be in exam yeah so very nicely you have put that uh, paper b uh, solving only the assignments is helping you to build the concept and obviously but uh, past paper solving and why assignments specimen you have and then obviously mocks mocks yeah. are really very important for paper b because we otherwise we don't have many resources other uh, other than these so did you like solve any paper a question question for revision notes from revision notes in paper b like in excel did you do that i did not actually do that i did not take uh, like paper e questions and solve it on uh, on excel but there were some questions which were very paper a pattern type and uh, so yeah i practiced those they, like there were some questions in the past papers also jo bahut paper a type ka hi tha so i think you'll get a idea of it by solving the past papers only from 2019 onwards i think that would be very much enough all right so past papers are very important and mock papers are very important yeah. for paper b and you scored 90 with in paper b i think which is very great uh getting nine because uh, i think there are four to five questions that we get in cm2 so uh, and also 40 marks 30 to 40 marks is comments yeah. so it be, and we get eight 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 marks of comments in paper uh, b so it's very yeah. important yeah. that we write so can you just you know help us because commenting is something which i have seen students facing a lot of problem uh if it's a eight mark comment they generally end up getting two or three right which is i don't think very good so can you help us to uh, like just say that how we can proceed with the comments part in paper a and in paper a also we get comments so how should yeah. we proceed so um the same thing like you have to mainly focus on the mat uh read the concepts read the past papers ka jo answer hota hai wo sab ka jo comment parts hota hai like read wo sab answers and note down them at some place if you can because uh, there are some repetitions as well and you'll get more clarity if you write them down definitely and uh, i think in the exam timing uh, sometimes it may not click so i think you should write whatever you can think at that point of time and just move on and just come back to them at the end of the paper because sometimes kya hota hai na pura paper dene ke baad you get many things in my on your mind and then after that bahut the comments the answer karna easier ho jata hai so i think uh, that should be the Uh, like strategy for comments like focusing on the concepts that's the most important thing so that's a very good point because i feel even this happens with me comments is generally if you're not getting many points just skip it move ahead and may, then definitely towards the end if you have practiced properly you will definitely get the answers that generally happens uh, a lot um and also one more thing write the uh, key points like for each chapter maybe or each uh, revision note booklet it's very important that whatever comments or whatever common points you are getting to write it down in one place so that when you you can read it before the exam and then you can use those points and just change it along with the case study right okay so um cm2 has a lot of theory chapters for example we have behavioral finance and we have the emh theory so all these things are there theory chapters are a lot so how did you prepare for theory chapters did you memorize it entirely or what was your strategy so uh, chapters 1 to 8 and the derivatives chapters these are very conceptual based very theoretical but like uh, um the like normally students take them very lightly but the questions that come from these chapters they are pretty complex so i think uh, that's where i thought of reading it again and again the mat uh, getting a hold of the concepts very well revising the concepts again and again and writing it down if you can that helps a lot uh, and uh, watching youtube videos for that for some of them like for utility theory for uh, chapters like uh, stochastic models on um, of interest rates and the derivative chapters these uh, would be very important theoretically and you should go through the mat again and again jitna ho sake and also jo revision uh, booklet mein sums hai wo sab ke jo comment parts hai wahan pe aapko bahut sare theories mil jayenge bahut concepts mil jayenge so type them down if you can and just go through it again and again Okay, so if you obviously go through it again and again, then you end up learning it. So that is yeah, again. Yeah, kind of. Very... 
Okay. Yeah, so that is also very important because we have a lot of theory like assumptions of CAPM, for example. So these kind of questions are many questions are there, many things are there. So it's very important when we go through it again and again, and we always read the comments part because I've seen students what they do is when they're solving the question, they just solve the first three parts, and if the fourth part is a comment, they just skip it. They will not yeah. read it. But that's I don't think not a good. That's not a good thing to do. You should actually read. And you should actually focus more on that concept, uh, the fourth part, the comments part. That is more important. Um, OK, so um, IFO exams happened online in your term. And there was a lot of typing. Um, so how did you manage to type? Uh, and how did you manage to uh, revise? Because I think uh, practice typing, because you already gave, I think, CM or CS papers uh, on MS Word. But still, for CM2, how it was different and how you practiced typing every day. Uh, I'm starting with a part from this. Okay, I'm in a connection. Chala gaya tha. Like, what did you mention in the starting? What was the question? Okay, so I just mentioned, Yash, that uh, how did you practice typing because the exams were happening online? Uh, so yeah. how did you practice typing and how much importance did you give to typing? Because I think after appearing from for CM1 or CS1 or any other previous paper, students generally neglect typing portion. So how did you kept the equal focus on typing? Because at the end, you have to type down your answers, right? And the exam paper is not very short. It is yeah. actually length. So how yeah. you focused on typing? So for me, it was exactly opposite. I did not uh, neglect it. I started with typing only. So I uh, copied Chuai Ni for CM2 for solving the sums. I started with Word itself. And that's where starting early helps. You can practice the whole uh, the whole paper two times onward and that's what i did um i lost my connection i think just a minute no no it's fine you are audible uh, you have a new uh -huh. you have your audible yeah. okay uh so yeah i typed the whole thing on word i practiced all the questions onward from start i gave all the mocks onward and i think that's what will help because many they the other things are paper onward so I thought he, I had a grip on word. So like why to use the copy itself. So many words say he start kiya tha. And I think that's what helped. Speed is so, so important in this paper because there will be a time crunch if you are not good with typing on word in like for this paper, because it is so much based on complex math and so much of comments that you will face a time crunch if you're not good with it. So you have to practice it from the start if you can. That would be very helpful. So very uh, nicely, he said that he practiced everything from day one on MS Word because obviously we know that we, uh, if you're appearing from IFOA, then you know that you have to at the end type your answers. Unless you, you know, you have done everything, but you are not good at typing, you'll not be firstly able to finish your paper. And secondly, what you might be knowing an answer, but due to time crunch, you're not able to solve it. So that's, I think that's not a very good thing to happen. So it's very important. And start from the first day itself so practice everything on ms word you don't have to even use pen and paper as what he said that's very very good point actually okay uh also so uh and obviously yes it's very important to you know improve your typing speed right so um all right so can you share some tips and tricks like very uh you know your tips and tricks yeah. Because so far in all the papers, you have scored really great marks, right? And I hope you keep on scoring that in future. So what helps you, what the tips and tricks you follow that, you know, you end up scoring such great marks? Okay, so thank you, ma'am. And first of all, uh, so join uh, join actuators for the papers. You will get good marks. That's the first thing. Uh, so uh, what I usually do is I start early. I think that helps a lot. That gives you your, a lot of time for uh, going through the course again and again. Uh, for CM2 specifically, that will be very important because of you know the the math is very heavy and the complex are you know, like the concepts are very complex. So starting early is very important. Staying consistent. It's okay to have some breaks. Like if you go out or if you have college exams, it's okay. But don't just give up. Try to do um, try to give two to three hours every day if you can. Uh, but just practice something. So staying consistent is very important. One thing I did for uh, from the start itself is that I 
stopped using the calculator altogether i think this is the this was something that was a big game changer for me i i solved everything on excel i type the whole word things in such a way that i can copy and paste it and i can get the whole answer on the excel cell that's what i did firstly that will increase the speed for sure secondly the the level of accuracy you will get is crazy like there are many sub parts and sub calculations so if you are doing it on excel you will get the, um, the like the very accurate answer thirdly you can cross check the answers as well in excel if you have done a calculation agar aap calculator mein karoge to aap wapas jaake dekh nahi sakte aapne kya kiya in most calculators and it's very difficult to do that but in excel you can just just um, the, um, the, um, the, um, aap ja sakte ho cell pe and you can double tap and you can see what you had uh, done and what mistake you had made and for cm2 specifically black school calculator bana liya tha maine excel mein and i definitely use that uh, during paper a as well and i solved all my run of sums on excel so i think this excel thing is very helpful it saves a lot of time and uh, writing down doubts as i said in detail is very important bahut bar kuch se solve ho jata hai bahut time bachta hai warna last mein log chhod dete hai clear hi nahi karte doubts aur aapko to pata hi hum kitna doubt puchta hai so uh so yeah doubts are very important to be cleared and uh, yeah my love for some of the subjects like i love studying cm1 and cm2 specifically uh like the finance part and the life insurance part i think if you love something you will will do it well and you will go to the depths of it so i think these would be some tips and tricks that i followed for my people all right so i think one uh, okay very good point he said that he stopped using calculator and he was using only excel because he knew that in exam he has to use word and excel only so very good point uh, and obviously being consistent because this is something i have seen among students that once they clear their cm1 and cs1 exams um they feel uh, as if you know uh, they feel a little bit confidence over confidence is there and you yeah. know the this they uh start missing the classes and maybe they are not consistent with their studies now but that consistency is something which uh, you should not let go especially in actuarial science um very very important being consistent and he was actually consistent because he used to attend all the classes and he has definitely used to ask a lot of doubts but i think that's very good thing you should not leave any single doubt uh, especially in a paper like cm2 where we have a lot of um you know conceptual things uh just last question from my side and then uh, you all can ask your questions in the chat box so um you know usually students say this uh because i think in april uh, when you gave your exam the colleges had open physically because yeah. prior to that everything was happening online the colleges were happening online um i'm not talking about office uh students over here because obviously when you're working you you have to work the entire day but for college students specifically uh they were having online classes but then we had physical classes and most of the students they had this thing that uh the classes have started physically i am not able to take out my time for actual studies and you being economic honors student you had 6 to 7 hours of college so yeah. tell us uh, and this is something which i actually you know i want you to elaborate properly that how you managed your cm2 along with economic honors uh your college timings and there was a transition happening yeah, in the month of march this very clearly so how you managed that time because uh, i think you never complained about this so why and how you you were actually able to manage just tell us this because obviously you had to also travel for your uh, yeah. commute for your college so how did you manage for sure um, so first of all maine jaldi start kar diya tha to kam se kam mera syllabus to khatam ho gaya tha so matlab this will be your savior At the end, if you start early, last week, कुछ भी हो गया problem, so you will be saved. So first of all, I started early. Second of all, uh, uh, so my traveling time was a lot, and my college timings were also huge. And sometimes gaps were there in classes. So now I carried my copy always, so I would write notes in the video lectures. So, uh, so I used to read it whenever we had time. I would go to the library in the college. And whenever I commute, I would have time, so I would read the notes. Ka uh so this helped a lot and uh, yeah matlab it was a big transition definitely colleges khulna because we are not gone to college for two years 
and it was a very new thing so uh, yeah matlab i also enjoyed a bit party kiya but but sometimes you have to sacrifice like if the friends are going like every day you have to tell them no you have to stick to your plans and uh, talking about the studies for college i think uh, you have to create a balance like hum kya karta tha hum to mera college agar 10 o'clock se hai so i used to get up at 6 so i studied one or two hours for cm2 then i came back from college uh, by to wo kar liya matlab college ko do teen ghanta diya shaam ko and then raat ko again 3 4 hours i used to give to cm2 to char panch ghanta ho hi jata tha aaram se padhai so uh, that's what char panch ghanta hi nikalna hai at the end of the day so yeah that's how i managed it uh, with college uh, at the end okay so uh, i think very nicely uh, even i used to do this when i used to go to college because we also had we to never obviously had that covid situation so i used yeah. to also used to carry my notes copy and whenever we used to have this you know breaks or maybe mm. there is some teacher coming late in class or something or the other happening then i used to just take out my notes copy so that's a very good thing starting early is obviously a very good benefit very very good benefit because we complete the syllabus on time and we have a lot of time for revision so that is again important and also saying a no to friends it's actually <laughs> difficult um uh, but it's actually very helpful um and maintaining that discipline of you know he said that getting up at 6 am in the morning studying for one one and a half hours going to college coming back maybe studying for college and then again studying for cm2 for 3 4 3 hours so he took out 4 to 5 as that was always there so that uh, you know i think that is all about discipline there yeah. is obviously a pain uh, but that uh, that pain is still bearable than the pain of regret so i think great uh, yash you maintain that consistency um i'll just wrap it up with uh, what he you know points he said then uh, quickly he might just add few points and you all can ask your questions in the chat box you all can start putting down the questions on the chat box so i have written few um, important things that he mentioned uh, throughout so he said writing your doubts is very very important right uh, so that you understand that where all uh, exactly what portion you have doubts in reading examiners report the comments that examiners put in is very important we understand where other students are making a mistake so that we don't make a mistake over there material reading minimum he did for three times that's very good for cm2 because i think cm2 is something uh, which you actually have to you know it's a lot of concept oriented then paper b along with paper a being consistent as you solve paper a one chapter you have to you know solve paper b the same chapter um reading the comments properly because paper b has lot of comments 30 to 40 marks of comments is there being consistent from day one starting early is very important this is the april term that you all will be getting i think this is the correct time to start for cm2 so that you finish it uh, on time and if there is something coming up at the end uh, that will not be a burden to you because you have already completed the syllabus on time and obviously practicing typing every day um in fact only using your laptops or ms word and he mentioned one thing that he stopped using calculator um he only used excel and word so great um thank you so much yash do you want to say something towards the end like any particular tips you want to give extra yeah tips? there are ha bas ek do cheez hai um so for mocks like um try to check it yourself like uh, give the mocks वो टाइम पे जो टाइम पे एग्जाम होने वाला है ट्राई टू डू दैट ट्राई करो उस टाइम पे ना सोने का पाँच छह दिन पहले से एंड चेक इट योर सेल्फ लाइक मार्क योर सेल्फ तीन से चार घंटा लो चेक ईच क्वेश्चन मार्क योर सेल्फ देन सी वेर यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन व्हाट मिस्टेक्स यू आर मेकिंग राइट देम डाउन अगेन लिखना बहुत हेल्प करता है यू कैन रीड ऑल दो लाइक फोर और फाइव डेज बिफोर द एग्जाम ऑन द एग्जाम डे प्लीज ट्राई टू प्रिंट द पेपर इफ यू कैन that helps a lot because computer pe teen tabs manage karna is very difficult like the paper excel and your word file so print the paper if you can and when you get the paper i think for cm2 there will be questions jo nahi aayega uska ek do part ho sakta na aaye ye hoga kyunki they give one or two sums like this mere uh, term mein bhi hua tha ek question aaya tha that was a mix of 
chapter 9 to 11 and term structure wala which is what i was scared of and uh, so you should start with your strength like scan through the paper at first and start with your strength and then only go to that difficult question at the end you will definitely get time agar aap apne strength se start kar rahe ho usme jaldi hona hi hona hai last mein then main attempt kiya and mostly mere se ho gaya like teen char marks me se nahi hua tha but uske alawa me se ho gaya tha but main agar wo starting mein karne jata main bahut time le leta so yeah do that when you get the paper for sure that's it okay so uh, obviously start with your strength uh if you are not getting any particular question don't waste time on that just skip it and move forward maybe towards the end you might get it um also uh, very nicely check your own mocks because finding your own mistake is actually you know uh, clearing it and you will never make that mistake again if you find your own mistake right rather than someone else finding it for you um and very good point that he said because ifo exams in india happen during the day time like generally it happens 1 to you know 4:30 something around that so make sure you're not sleeping at that time and you are appearing for mocks at that time only so that you get into the habit the time cycle changes for you and you get into the habit of appearing for mocks during that time very good very nicely said dash thank uh, you so much just one more point uh, just one more point uh, for paper b this helps me a lot this time कुछ कुछ क्वेश्चंस होते हैं जहाँ पर फर्स्ट पार्ट का आंसर आपको सेकंड पार्ट में चाहिए होता है एंड फर्स्ट पार्ट नहीं आता है दिस हैपन विथ मी इन दिस पेपर सो यूज अ प्रॉक्सी आंसर देयर एंड सॉल्व द होल क्वेश्चन दैट्स वेरी हेल्पफुल वरना मेरा बीस मार्क्स छूट जाता लिटरली सो आई यूज द प्रॉक्सी आंसर फॉर द फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड आई सॉल्व द होल क्वेश्चन एंड आई गॉट ट्वेंटी थ्री आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव इन दैट क्वेश्चन आई थिंक सो दैट वॉज really helpful so i do that in paper b very good very good uh, i think this was this is something which generally students will not do because they get scared seeing the question that i am not getting the first part how will i solve the entire question so take any proxy answer be it anything you know anything just any number and you just take that and solve the next part because i think this happens a lot in cs a uh, cm2 and also i think in cs2 very very good uh, so take any answer because what ifoa and i think iii also does this that they will not give you any marks for part 1 obviously but for the next part what they'll do is they will consider that proxy answer to be correct and solve the uh, check the entire rest of the question very uh, good thank you so much yash thank you so you shared a lot of good tips and your strategy with us uh, thank you so much do you do you have any other questions uh, those who are there in the meeting any other questions or something you want to ask him regarding anything or any other paper okay so um i'll just quickly pick up good questions from here um which exam would you place at a higher pedestal in terms of difficulty cm2 or cs2 i think this is very subjective but still yes you can answer this question so for me cm2 is something which i love the lot studying cs2 is a bit scary abhi bhi sochta hu dar lagta thoda sa because the syllabus is so vast there and there are so many things to do and there are um, there are like different parts which you may not be able to connect so well so i think for me cs2 was more difficult that is for me and uh, yeah okay uh cm1 we will be keeping a session very soon so let us keep cm1 for uh, later um okay so one question is cm2 cp2 cp3 an uphill task for april 2023 session i think uh, from my perspective see you can appear for maybe uh, three of it if you are very much consistent with it but you can definitely go for any two like cm2 and cp2 or cm2 and cp3 that to for sure you can uh yash will you want to answer so maine cp2 cp3 padha nahi hai but jitna i know about it i think you can give it with um, like with one other paper and but See, dates yeah. check kar lena uh, dates nahi uh, clash karna chahiye normally bus dates clash kar jata hai no no it will not clash because cp2 cp3 happens at the start but okay. uh, i think you can appear for any one of it with cm2 if you are confident then go for three right generally two is enough um how to work on the comments part i think he has answered it a lot uh 
write down your comments do read the questions properly any uh, so he has mentioned it along the entire session so all right cm and we are keeping a session very soon this friday only uh last question and then we'll wrap it up uh, i think that's a very good question why uh, when you chose to pursue actual science and how did you decide that ye to pura interview question hai okay uh so i decided it after 12 i wanted to pursue something which was related to numbers and logical thinking i did some rigorous research and i found that uh, actually this is a course you know which will give you exposure to so many different fields and at the end of it you are able to specialize in any one of them and i think this ye ye cheez koi aur course nahi deta hai like they have some specific specialization and i was not sure about my specialization but i knew i wanted to revolve around you know math and finance and economics and business so i chose actuarial uh, based on that and uh, yeah i think that's why i chose okay so i think that's a very good that was a very good session very very uh, you know um, he shared a lot of great tips with us and which i think even helped me a lot thank you so much yash um for sharing all good tips with us uh, i don't think anything else any any other question do we have over here all right so we will be keeping another session on cm1 very soon then we can answer all your cm1 questions as well thank you so much yash for joining and we hope to meet very soon again with maybe some other paper you scoring the highest again <laughs> thank you ma'am thanks for having me here <laughs> thank you so yeah, much i hope for... so too <laughs> thank you so much yeah. for joining us today all right thank you bye bye, bye. good night bye good night